In today's video, I bought the craziest airsoft guns in the world. I got the ray gun from Call of Duty Zombies, an insane minigun that shoots incredibly fast with rotating barrels, a gas blowback fully auto only pistol that shoots super fast, and much more. Now let's jump straight in. All right, guys. So the first airsoft gun up in this list comes in at $35. This guy is made by JG and it's called the Beta Spetnaz. Here it is in all of its glory. Pretty simple, but this guy definitely has a crazy trick up its sleeve. This guy is a fully shell ejecting airsoft gun. So you guys can see these like fake little bullets right here. It comes with a whole bunch of them, which is really cool. But yeah, you actually can load these guys up with a little BB at the top right there. And for only being 35 bucks, this is probably the cheapest shell ejecting gun you could possibly get. As far as I could tell, definitely a fully plastic design, uh, definitely pretty lightweight. But let's now try out that like shell ejecting feature. So we take out the magazine right there. Ooh. All right, so let's uh, load up this little magazine. This thing is actually pretty hilarious. All right, let's see how this works. Ooh, definitely pretty hard to get in the magazine as well. Hey, it works. That's sick. All right, we got this guy all lit up with 0 .20 BBs. Let's see what this guy's chronographing at. All right, looks like this guy's shooting about 233.2 FPS with 0.51 joules. Let's go ahead and test this guy out at 50 feet. I'm just gonna aim directly at the center with the iron sights and see where that ends up. Whoa! Basically, it was like a couple feet away from the target and the BB just went yeet. That's crazy. I don't know if you know a slow-mo replay of that, but uh, that BB was going crazy mode. Oof, and that just like curved downward right before it got to the target as well. This thing's definitely not the best. Oh, man, it's like just about to get the target and then it goes down. Let's actually go ahead and reload our little shells and uh, skew a little bit closer. Hey, okay. Still shooting definitely downward, but uh, definitely works. Woo, that like went straight to the left. That was a good one. All right, so I definitely had to skew up a little bit with this guy. Definitely not shooting the best out of the box, but if you have a little shooting range in your backyard with about 30 feet of range, this guy isn't the worst and it has that really cool shell ejecting feature. Real quick guys, before we move on to the next airsoft gun, let's talk about today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder stands at the pinnacle of detailed and complex vehicle combat games. Play in dynamic combined arms PVP battles with a wide array of over 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships at your disposal. Each vehicle is meticulously crafted and modeled down to their individual individual components providing an exponentially immersive combat experience. Play for free now on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Explore an extensive vehicle customization system where you can equip your machines with hundreds of camouflages, place historical markings, and even add 3D decorative elements like foliage and equipment. Vehicles endure realistic damage to their individual components and crew. The damage x-ray feature unveils precisely how your or your enemy's vehicle is affected as it sustains damage. My favorite part about War Thunder is the amount of vehicles you can choose from. Once you're bored of one, go on to the next. Come play War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using my link in the pinned comment or my video description down below. By the way guys, new War Thunder players across all platforms as well as those who haven't played for at least 6 months can claim a large bonus pack by using my link down below. The pack includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, exclusive 3D decor for your vehicles, and much more. And it's available for a limited time only. All right, guys, next up in the video, we have the $140 Tokyo Marui Extreme 45. And it shoots so fast. This thing is absolutely insane. And this is what we got. Looks like under this little flap right here, it looks like we have a little replacement for the lips on the magazine in case those snap off and as well as a little bag of BBs. And it looks like we have a little cleaning or gemming rod down there as well. All right, so first impressions with this guy, the Extreme 4.5. This guy definitely has some uh, decent weight to it. It's basically kind of made from a lot of plastic parts. You'd be surprised, obviously besides that magazine, but the slide itself is actually a fully plastic one, but that actually will come greatly in handy when we're doing the RPS test because the slide being plastic actually makes it lighter, which makes the slide rotate quicker. So this thing will actually shoot pretty insanely fast, but it still does have some metal features throughout the airsoft gun itself. It does have a little metal bolt holding the grip up right there. It does have a little metal hammer and both the these safeties are metal as well. And the last little metal part for the externals is the little magazine release right there. But actually funny enough, you actually can't really use the magazine release. If you pull the slide all the way back, you can see you can still not lock the magazine back in place. The little latch and the hole in the slide for it to lock are still kind of like unaligned. And that is because I'm pretty sure they actually short struck this guy from the factory. And that just means the slide doesn't actually have to travel as far back as it normally would. So this guy shoots even faster than normal high capas. This guy is fully automatic as well. So uh, definitely this guy's gonna be pretty insane. As far as the iron sights, pretty standard little high cap of iron sights, 
but you actually don't have painted dots in the rear, just in the front. So that's kind of odd. You do get a nice little place right there in the front to put a flashlight or laser or anything you want. Definitely a lot of little rail space down there. This guy's a really cool little slide design being like kind of like a dual tone, like silver and black. So really cool design for this guy. Let's go ahead and load this guy with some gas and test it out. Woo. Dude, that's so sick. I used this guy a couple years ago, but I forgot how crazy this guy is. <laughs> Damn, okay, this thing is super cool. All right, we got the sky loaded up with some point tools and some propane. Let's see what the RPS is at. Woo! Well, it looks like the average FPS is 284.1 with 0 0.75 joules. Let's see what the RPS is now. Damn, this guy's shooting crazy. It doesn't even read the uh, RPS. All right, so the only reading looks like we got is 6.6 .6 rounds per second, but I definitely could tell this guy shoots a little bit quicker than that. All right, of course, this guy only shoots full auto, so we're going to try to do a little burst of full auto to try to get a nice grouping. Woo, okay, definitely not the best. Zero, that's not what I want to see. All right, well, with about 50 feet away and a full auto pistol, definitely not the best accuracy you could possibly get. But obviously, this guy isn't for the optimal accuracy. This guy is for shooting really, really fast. Looks like we got about four on the target throughout the outskirts, and then one barely missing on the lower end right there, and a couple on this upper section right here. Let's see how fast this guy really could shoot. Now let's try this guy with the extended mag. All right, up next, we definitely have a super heavy box. This is the $155 Tokyo Marui Chrome Stainless Desert Eagle Hard Kick .50 AE. And this guy is a gas blowback airsoft pistol. Of course, got the nice little owner's manual right there and some warnings on the back with some cool little animations. Ooh, but this is what we got. This guy is absolutely insane. Look how big this guy is. I mean, just the box alone is so heavy. I cannot wait to shoot this guy. But this thing will have an insane kickback. I mean, it is called the hard kick after all. This thing feels uh, definitely pretty solid. It's not like extremely heavy where it's like annoying to hold it, but it's definitely a pretty big boy. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think this slide is actually plastic. That would make sense with this airsoft gun because this is a Toku Mui airsoft gun. So normally they do have plastic slides for the uh, gas blowback airsoft pistols. But as you can hear when I'm racking this guy back, it definitely sounds pretty insane. You actually have this safety on the little slide right there. So it is off safe right there. And then the safety position is actually clicking this guy downward. And the trigger is actually a pretty light too. So that's gonna be pretty insane to shoot that guy. I wonder if this guy would shoot pretty quick too. But aside from this guy looking absolutely insane, it does function pretty much like a normal airsoft gas blowback pistol. Compared to other gas pistols, this guy definitely has some good weight to it. It definitely adds some weight when you put it in the pistol itself. This guy is a full double stack magazine. So it probably holds about 20 to 25 shots. And then you put the gas in the lower position right there on the magazine. This guy is called the hard kick after all. So let's go ahead and put some propane in the magazine and test out that recoil. Dude, racking this thing back sounds insane. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Ooh. Damn. Dude, that moves my hands back so much. Probably the most insane recoil I've ever felt on a gas flow like airsoft pistol. Damn, all right. This guy's shooting 338.1 FPS with 1.06 joules. So this guy, obviously I'm using point tools with all the shooting tests today. So the BBs are over hopping a little bit for most of the guns, but it looks like we got two crazy like bullseyes in the middle right there. Very impressive from this guy. And then I started to aim kind of downward right here and notice the BBs are kind of heading up. But wow, that is a super precise grouping right there. So uh, definitely very, very nice shooting for this guy. Now let's see how fast I can get rid of the BBs in this magazine. Definitely an insane recoil though. Oof, all right, up next we have a super long boy as well as pretty heavy for the box as well. Let's go ahead and open this and check it out. Damn, looks like we even have some zip ties to cut at the bottom as well. That's crazy. All right, so this is a Car 98K by Double Belt and this guy comes in at $250. Ooh, damn, this thing is sick. Actually way heavier than I thought. This thing is crazy. Looks like you do have the bolt right there and as well as the actual little shells right here. All right, this thing is pretty insane. I got the actual real wood version. So all the wood you see on the actual exterior of this guy is actually real wood. So it feels absolutely really cool. So if you guys are familiar with the Car 98K, this is basically like a crazy snipe rifle. That is bolt action. And the airsoft version I got is a fully gas powered shell ejecting version, which is absolutely insane. These guys are definitely pretty cool and they're actually made from full metal. So you can hear them clanking together. 
And this guy actually comes with some pretty cool iron sights. The front one definitely looks like a train yeah. tunnel or something crazy like that with a little stem in the middle. And the back one is like a pretty standard, this little half U, but it's really cool. If you actually press this little button inward, this little slider will actually be able to go up and slowly raise the actual back iron sight. So if you want to shoot at different distances, you just adjust the slider to the upward position and that will slowly rotate your airsoft gun upwards so you can go to further distances. And besides the wood for this guy, it actually is a pretty much a full metal design besides that. So definitely feels pretty beefy. So this little like tab thing is actually facing the left side that is on fire mode. And then when you rotate this little guy to the upward position or pretty much like a vertical position on the bolt or actually on the airsoft gun itself, that is actually in a system where it won't fire, but you could still rack back the bolt. And then actually, if you put it all the way to the right, that is on full safety mode. Definitely have never seen anything like it. To load this guy up, you rack the bolt all the way back. Pretty satisfying sound if I may add. Pretty sick. And then you take your little silver fake bullets and load them up. And of course, when you get that green gas all loaded up, you rack the bolt forward. Woo. Definitely not the easiest bolt to rack forward. And then you just press the trigger and then you go to the next shell and it actually ejects it from the airsoft gun. You definitely have to like manhandle this bolt a little bit. It's pretty hard to actually get this guy forward, but uh, you get used to it. <laughs> and when it hits the ground, that's such a satisfying sound too. Let's go ahead and put some green gas in here and see how it sounds. <laughs> the gas like barely came out of the end right there. Huh, that's weird. Huh? Uh, okay. So it looks like the first shot is 276.5 FPS with 0.71 joules. Let's try one more shot. Ooh, that was satisfying. Next shot looks like we got 274.3 FPS with 0.7 joules flat. Let's do one test on the target just to see if this guy's uh, gonna be able to hit further, but I'm pretty sure this guy will be able to hit about twice the distance very easily. All right, that is uh, not the best range. All right, so we're gonna start at a little bit of a closer distance because I don't think this guy's gonna even be able to get that far. No, <laughs> terrible range, what? This thing's supposed to be like a sniper rifle, man. Barely doesn't get to the target. I'd say it five feet short of the target, man, that sucks. Uh, oh, well, well, at least it sounds cool when you do this. Ooh, satisfying. Wow, this thing's uh, super bad. Okay, well, this thing's definitely just uh, for the more of the aesthetic and kind of like gimmick of that really cool like shell ejecting feature, but uh, the actual shooting of this thing, ooh, not the best. Hey, I hit one. All right, so this thing's definitely a little bit more showy than it is performance. My overall conclusion is cool factor 10, performance one. <laughs> All right, up next, this guy is absolutely insane. One of my favorites for the video. I cannot wait to check this one out. This one comes in at $260. So when I was actually searching up airsoft guns for this video, I came across this guy. And uh, well, it doesn't shoot airsoft BBs, but I absolutely had to show you this guy. This thing is absolutely insane. Ooh, if there's no easy way to do that, we're gonna have to get uh, packing peanuts everywhere. I hate you, little guys, I hate you. Ooh, I cannot wait to see this. Yo, <laughs> absolutely insane, dude, what? It's a magnet too? Yo, this thing's so cool. Dang, that sucks. I guess these guys actually snapped off when it was shipping, but obviously that was the uh, other two little stems right here. Same as this one, but they go right there and right there. But other than that, that's okay. This guy is a ray gun from Call of Duty Zombies. This definitely has to be one of the coolest airsoft props I've ever seen. I mean, just look at the detail of this guy. It's such a cool design. I'm so glad I actually got this guy. Obviously it cannot shoot BBs like I keep mentioning, but it does have some really cool features. So I'm assuming most of you guys have some crazy nostalgia from playing Black Ops 1 or any of the zombie games with the ray gun. So this thing is so cool to see in person. The absolute detail of this guy is so insane. I mean, it pretty much like captures all of the detail on the actual ray gun in the game. So definitely one of the coolest pickups I've had on this channel so far. So the first really cool feature of this guy, you can actually fake load this guy. So you actually could take the front like the one in the game and actually take it off. It actually has a little magnet in there. So you can actually just easily put it back up too. But actually in there is actually the little thing in the game. So you actually like fake reload this guy, which is really cool. So I never knew what they use in the game. I'm assuming it's some kind of like nuclear like cold cell battery crazy like charged up thingamajig but uh yeah this is basically what they give you as well for the prop one so definitely a really cool feature you can actually like fake reload this guy which is really cool and then of course the craziest feature of this guy is actually this little switch you see on the side right there if you flick that up it actually turns on the lights of this guy this has definitely got to be one of the coolest like cosplay gun props wherever you want to call it that i've ever seen obviously i'm a little nostalgic for the call of duty games but i bet some of you guys would enjoy this too so i had to get it all right up next we have this bad boy i've been 
actually wanting to buy this guy, but it's so hard for me to justify the price of this guy because it's so expensive. This guy is $470. But I thought this guy would be a perfect fit in this video because this thing is super cool. This is a Umarex MP5K PDW version two gas blowback airsoft submachine gun. And this guy is by VFC. All right, looks like we got the little owner's manual and some uh, little speed loader too. So that's kind of nice. But getting that off the way, looks like we have the little magazine in this bag. Let's go ahead and check that guy out. Ooh, very nice. Full metal, obviously the gas goes down there. Feels super high quality as well. It is so hard to find a MP5K that is gas blowback. It was such a hard journey trying to get this guy, but I finally found one and uh, it was definitely pretty expensive, but uh, I had to get it because this thing is absolutely insane. The MP5K is definitely one of my favorite guns and nice. I cannot wait to actually see how this guy shoots. This guy does come with a full stock, which is really cool, obviously being the PDW version. You can get them obviously without the stock as well. Ooh, that is nice. So it does come with this puny normal magazine, but of course your boy had to ball out and get a crazy drum mag for this guy. This is the AW Custom $150 drum mag for the MP5K. I've actually had this drum mag for over a year now, but I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity to get this guy. I knew I had to pair this guy up with something special because the original magazine is probably pretty boring when shooting this guy, but definitely adding a crazy gas drum mag to the mix definitely made it perfect for this video. So the weight is kind of like medium. It's not like super heavy, but it's not super light by any means. It definitely feels super beefy and high quality. So you can actually get this guy like a little bit cheaper without the folding stock, but I definitely think this thing deserves a cool folding stock. So I had to get it like that. If you guys are not familiar with MP5Ks, it does come with like an iron sight on the back and front as well. You have a little circle with a stem on the front and a little cool little like rotating back iron sight that actually changes the like size of the circle at the rear. So obviously they do make MP5Ks that are a little bit easier to get that are electric, but uh, this guy is a fully gas blowback one. So I don't even think I've ever even seen this in person, let alone shoot it. So I'm definitely really excited to shoot this guy soon coming up. And then of course, with the MP5K, you do get that semi-automatic and full auto right there. And it has a ambidextrous little fire select too. So that's really nice for left-handed users. And then here's the little bolt right here. So obviously if you're familiar with MP5 or MP5Ks or if you've played some video games with them, obviously you pull the bolt back and then pull it upward to lock it back in place. And then to release the bolt, you have two options. One's kind of the slow one and one's the cool way. So basically you could pull the bolt downward and then release, which is kind of like the slow method. Or of course, if you want to do it the cool way, you actually just slap this guy downward like so which is uh, definitely the cool way to do it in my opinion. All right, so now let's go ahead and load up the normal magazine with some green gas and test the semi-automatic response. And of course that gas blowback kickback as well. And then we're gonna load up the drum mag with some propane and then see how that compares on full auto. Oh, that didn't work. So it looks like this type of airsoft gun actually will not dry fire. So I'm gonna have to put some BBs in this guy to actually test it out. So with that said, let's go ahead and do the shooting test. Damn, this thing's sick. Okay. Obviously, I've been waiting a long time to actually be able to get one of these and shoot him, and uh, definitely doesn't disappoint. All right, let's check out that full auto. All right, let's go take that drum mag out and see what that does. Damn. Oh, no, does it not fit? No. Brother. Damn, it says on the website you can take it MP5 or MP5K, but I guess not this one. Damn, that sucks. I've been learning waiting a year to use this. Yeah, as you can see, it's like absolutely peeling the side of the magazine away when I'm trying to put it in the mag wall. Damn. Oh, it doesn't fit. All this time, I was so excited. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let's see what this guy's chronographing at. Looks like we got about 326.8 FPS with 0.99 joules. All right, now let's test the RPS of this guy. All right, looks like we got about 6.5 rounds per second. All right, so the 50 foot shooting test, definitely not bad results. We got one miss to the right right there and another one up there. But besides that very solid grouping, almost all of them on the actual target with a lot of them in that little black ring right there. So definitely very solid results for this guy. Let's actually scoot back a little bit further and see if this guy will do better at a further distance. But first, let's see how fast this guy can shoot. All right, so for the little bit farther distance test, not too shabby. It looks like we got about five on the target, two barely missing the target right there, one way up there for some reason, and a couple down here. Overall, for an MP5K with a tiny little barrel, definitely not a bad little shooting group. Oof, all right, guys, we got the grand finale of today's video. This guy comes in at $540. Oh. Hallelujah. All right, I might have went a little overboard in today's video. I got the Wellpro M134 Vulcan minigun. Bro, I can't believe I bought this. <laughs> 
My first impressions are this guy isn't actually as heavy as it looks. So this guy is made up of plastic and metal combined. This guy is a fully electric one too. So it's not spring or anything like that. When I pull the trigger, all the barrels will actually rotate and it's gonna shoot absolutely insane. There is five little barrels at the front right there that'll actually rotate and make this guy shoot a crazy rounds per second. So I'm super excited to shoot this guy. And we do have some rail space on the top right there. So we could put some crazy optics as well if we want to. So it actually does have a full safety. So as you can see this little button by the trigger right there, if you actually press that inward, that has a little red showing right there and that is off safety. And it actually has a crazy little click sound with the trigger when you're trying to pull it too. So that's actually pretty cool. So it definitely has some pretty advanced electronics in here. You would definitely hope so by paying uh, $500 for this bad boy. So normally electric airsoft guns actually have the motor in the grip, but because this guy is such a crazy design, they needed to think a little bit outside the box. So the motor is actually sitting in this little section right there. And the battery actually goes in this grip down here. There's this little clip. You have to actually undo that. And then this guy would just come undone like so. And then here there's just some wires for a little Dean connection right there. And then pretty much all you gotta do is put a battery in this boy, preferably a, like a 11.1 volt. We're gonna definitely be using a bigger battery for this boy to get the uh, craziest rounds per second I possibly can from this guy. And then to actually load this guy up, it's pretty insane. You see this like crazy like tube looking thing down here? Yeah, that's basically where you put the BBs. You basically just press that inward and it comes out like so. Pretty insane. To actually get the BBs loaded up in this bad boy, you actually have to twist this little thing at the bottom right there. And then it'll actually come out like this with a little spring system right here. And then you put the BBs in this little tube thing right there. You put the little spring system back on and then you close it up and you're ready to go. And it's really cool. This little tube actually shows you how many BBs you have left. So it starts from obviously zero, then it goes to 400, 800, and then 1200 BBs left. And then to basically get this guy back on, it's pretty easy. You put that in first and then the front part just clicks in like so. Pretty simple. And for this test, I'm using a 2400 milliamp 30C 11.1 LiPo. So let's go ahead and see what this guy's shooting. All right, so got it off safety mode. Let's see what it does. <laughs> Bro, that's so messed up. That's crazier than I thought. What? Dude, how am I allowed to buy this, bro? What? Dude, that's crazy. Okay, okay. I'm way too excited about this guy. Let's put some BBs in and see how this guy shoots. So uh, I'm not gonna really try to chronograph this guy because the barrels are rotating. I have no idea which one it comes out. So instead of literally destroying my chronograph with this like crazy minigun, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the shooting test first. All right, so here's safety off. Uh, we got the battery in that bad boy. And as you can see, there's the BBs in there. So it looks pretty nice. Very uh, clean build, if I will, for a minigun. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, obviously not gonna be the most insane results, but definitely got a fair amount on the target. We got a whole spreader on the target as well, but overall not too bad for a minigun. Obviously it's accuracy in range. It's probably not why you would buy this guy. So let's go ahead and show off why you'd really buy this guy. <laughs> Dude, that was almost like a thousand BBs I shot. That's crazy. This guy mows through BBs like nothing I've ever seen. Damn. All right, this might be a really bad idea, but we're going to go ahead and put you guys at the same perspective of the target and then like give you guys a perspective of what it's like getting shot at by a little mini gun. Dude, this is about to be sketchy, bro. Oh, this is a bad idea, man. Oh boy. That camera's so expensive. The lens is so expensive. Ooh, okay. I almost missed the target and shot the camera. Oh, shit. Okay, a little closer. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't forget to check out War Thunder. Play for free using my link in the video's description or pinned comment down below. And get access to a large bonus pack, including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, and much more. Thanks again, War Thunder, for sponsoring today's video. Bro, imagine using this at like a CQB fill in full auto. This would be so terrifying. Like just going to a room, just being like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe anyone could just buy this, bro. Who gave this to me?